say today. What do I want to say to some of you? I see you get angry at me. And I see how he's hurting your children without even knowing those that you're bringing home, those that hear your voice. And I thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. Tovia, Tovia Singer, Maria Sombari O Karakanim, Shetor Yato de Mayatami, Fasomai O Karatam, Fato Yashara Korama, Itrushimari O Karamim, Fanto Nanya Harakim. I come to you as Eliyahu, as a voice of the Father. I come to you as a heart of the Creator, the Creator of all things. Do you hear me? I come to you by the Creator of breath. Every breath that you say is him in every way. So I'm here to tell you to stop harming my children that I'm bringing home. Stop trying to destroy what I have built. For I have come to the earth to gather my bride, my lost 10 tribes, my Ephraim, my Joseph, to gather them and bring them home, to marry you. For I divorced them once upon a time for not following my laws. Hmm, Hosea. You gave everything to buy your bride back. You bought a whore, didn't you? Yes, yes, yes. Tovia, with all the knowledge you have, why don't you bring Todavaya, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know, yes, yes, yes. He wants, uh, he wants Yeshua to be judged again by your laws today, by your rabbis today, and see where he has led people astray. It's time that you judge him again and tell the truth for what you know, and if he did the law better than you too because this is where I'm here to tell you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Abba. It's time for the judgments to come. It's time for the scepter to leave Yehuda too. It's time to come to me. Thank you. I'm here as Eliyahu, and you don't have a clue because you're so full of your knowledge too. This man in front of you has no degrees, not even a high school diploma, and he will confound you for not understanding my heart, says Yah. You don't understand what all of creation was for. I was the vine. I was upon every altar as a sacrifice, dying for you, for your sins too, because I, because I made a law so that I may know you and that you may know me. That I know that you can, that you will do everything in your power to follow me, says Abaya. That's the test. I'm here to test hearts. With this twisted stick I do. You see, you read Deuteronomy and you read, I shall not add or change or remove any of the law, right? Obey by your own laws, be judged too. Thank you. Heavenly Father, if his bloodline has been broken, which as I suspect that you share with me, yes, of course, his bloodline was broken, but may he find it somewhere too. May he, the mother that wasn't a Jew, may he cancel out his Jewness, thank you. May he be out of the, of the land and of the, of the temple that I'm building. And, but there is a way that he can come in too. He can come in by knowing Yeshua. Thank you. For by his blood, 
the blood that was on your heads and your children's heads are here covering you too as a talit to say I want to know you you see all the sacrifices in Egypt in Mitzrayim were me too for I'm the one that, that went into the lambs as you kept them for days for I am love and when the lamb loves you, it's a willing sacrifice for you. It wants you to eat him too. Because in that way, oh, Heavenly Father, thank you. Eat me, eat me, eat me, take me. Take me off as far as you want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, God, I can you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Electricity. Hallelujah. Boy, the fire is so bright. Thank you, Abba Yah. It's time for the judgments to come. Thank you, Abba Father. For these people are harming your children. And they think they're doing a good thing. They think the Christians are the evil ones because of, of the Holocaust. If you only knew who was behind all those things. Talk about synagogue of Satan and Jews that you know even today. Thank you, Father Yah, for exposing them in every way. For they did all these things. They did all these things to do my doings. You see, it takes great disparity. It takes great suffering to produce what I'm trying to produce for me as my bride. For unless you have total faith in me and hear me wherever you do and go and say and function, the faith of Abraham is what I'm saying. We won't be able to come in. So may you learn about the Messiah and become a true Hebrew because that's your only way in. For Abba says your mother's line has been broken somewhere along the line. I don't know. But he says it's been broken and it's by your own laws you shall fall. Thank you, Father Yah. May this be for every Jew listening to May this be for every Jew that denies my children coming home. May they by their own laws fall. You see, I was given this twisted stick, this reed. I was given this thing many years ago. I asked the father, I said, if I'm Eliyahu like you say I am, then have this man bring me my part of my uniform. And he brought it. And I knew the law was supposed to be written on it. I didn't know how to do it. A friend did started doing it for me, but I didn't want to finish it. I kept saying how important it was. You got, you don't understand. Abba tells me it's a very important stick. And then he got burnt by the plumb line. It looked just like a plumb line and it burnt his leg. And then he mixed up the commandments on the stick. And I cried out to father one day. I said, you made me carry a stick. I don't want to carry. I said, you gave it to me and you were giving it as from gifts from people. And now the law is messed up on here and it's twisted and, and, and um, letters changed even. I said, Father, why? Why would you give me a twisted stick with the laws, the twisted laws on it? It's not correct. It's not correct, Father, why? He says to me, son, oh, oh, wait a minute. Is that a problem for you? I call him Abba too. He calls me son. I can't be a son of the father. Hmm, really? May you judge, be judged by that way too. For didn't you judge Yeshua that way, the Jew? I'm just saying, if you believe what you believe is true, that what your, your teachers have taught you, like you say that the Lutherans and all those people taught the, taught the Christians. Well, of course they taught the Christians. They taught them lies too, just like you got taught lies. Thank you. <laughs> but we're here to correct all truth, aren't we? And see what the Father's heart was all along and what he was planned was all, all, all together for you. His plan was for his body, his temple, his bride and groom coming together. So, thank you, Heavenly Father. This twisted stick. So I said, Father, you told me I was going to be a judge and I don't want to be a judge. First of all, that sounds evil. I don't want anything to do with it. He says, but if you don't, look what will happen. And who's willing 
to go to the throne in my name. Who is willing to come up to me? I'm called for. They can be killed for that, can't they? But truth, truth be told, if they come with love, if they come rightfully with love, he says, I will extend my golden scepter. So he couldn't change the, the edict that he made for Esther and the Jews. The king couldn't change his words, too. But what he could do was teach her how to fight. And whoever goes against her, they fall by their own, by their own laws, too, as she gets everything in the end. And that's what I'm telling you right now. I have a right to your crown and I've already taken it. It's beneath my feet now. Why? Because you're denying the children coming home. And you're trying to teach lies to your people too. And it's time that they know me and you. Yeshua was always in the midst as a portion of him. So was the whole family tree. He was a vine, you see, coming out here and there, everywhere, trying to show us the way, how to follow him home. He became our husband. If you only knew all the things you do was about him too. All of it, all of it. From looking around the house with the, for the leaven, with the little light, the father with the little light, to the afikoman, if you only knew what was true. But you like to take the law and think that you and your knowledge know better than everyone else, and especially those that talk about the Ruach HaKodesh. <gasps> what right do they have to interpret the Bible their own way? Hmm. Appalling, isn't it, Tovia? Appalling that a Christian would come, a dog, a goyim would come and interpret our Tanakh their own way by some spirit, they say. Yes, for they have the Shekinah, for it left you and went to the Greeks too. Didn't your sages say so? It did, thank you. I'm a Greek with Hebrew blood. Who knew I was a Cohen too? By my father's side, this I know to be true. I know my mom's a Jew too, from Jewish bloodline. But I can't prove it right now by paper. I can only prove it in the heavens. And this is what I'm here to do. Prove to you that who I am and who I say I am, who he says that I am, is true. It's the only way I know how to go. For he brought me Ginsburg. Is that the man? Yes, thank you. To judge me too. Because I said I was hearing the Father. He was guiding me into the Sabbath and into all these things. And they said, your mother's not a Jew. You can't do such a thing. I said, my Abba says he's cursing you. How dare you tell me not to do what he tells me to do? How dare you? Curse me, all of you. Who tells somebody they can't keep the Shabbat too? For that was all of creation for man. There's one sign between my people and me. They keep the Shabbat. Thank you. So, the fact that you want to make people break the Shabbat on purpose, that's a sin too. Just here to tell you. For you're supposed to teach the whole world one day to come into the truth and follow his way. But let's see what happens. So, I am bringing them home by my Ruach my breath, my spirit, my children hear my voice, and they come, they come, they come, they come. I'm speaking to you as a foolish Greek man, a goy to you, nobody, no degree, no nothing, nothing at all. And I don't boast in any of it anyway. He tells, he calls it all foolishness. Thank you, Father. Yeah. I boast only in knowing him, 
no way my other. Yeah. And he calls me son too. You want to judge that? Go ahead. Thank you. Why don't you read the story about the prodigal son and know which son that you are. The Jews had everything. They always did if they wanted it. But now the father wants his children home and he's bringing them through Christ. My son. Many, many, many sons. Look up in the stars and you'll see how many sons I have that are me. I see your body in the heavens too. I see everywhere I go and everything that you do. You do everything, don't you? So you laid your life down on Nantavalos too. You shed your blood for me, huh? and for you. You did it to marry us. Thank you. The spirit of the Messiah. The spirit of the Tanakh is meant to be love, not laws and darkness and the ways to overcome your enemy because of uh, the, the laws you see. What's that? Okay, I'm back. I can go. Okay, I'm just telling you when it stops. The flow must stop now. I keep fighting there. You keep flowing. You keep telling me what you want me to say. It's time. It's time for judgments in every way. I'm here to bring them. I'm here to bring them to you today. You're hurting the father's heart, and he's angry about it. You're harming the father's family, and he's angry about it. I love you, Tovia. I think you have the knowledge to see what the father's heart was for all of this, and for you and me. We could be one big family, lost brothers. You're like looking at Joseph like he's Egyptian, like he has no right to be one of you. When the truth is, he was the favorite of the father. And the father is very sad that his children are home. Let his children come home, or else judgments are coming on you, as they already are. I have your crown now. Thank you. <laughs>